Okay, so again, to reiterate what we're trying to do here is, let me just throw, uh, does it CLS? Yeah, CLS works, okay. So if we do a WSL-L-V, is that the, yeah, okay. We have this Ubuntu um, installation of WSL, but I want to see if I can create multiple named versions of that uh, instance so that I can customize one to be like a node environment and more JavaScript development, and then maybe have another uh, Ubuntu uh, instance on my Windows machine that is more geared towards PHP development, and maybe another one that's specifically for like a Laravel app. So I want to see if I can like basically almost kind of sort of create a Docker type environment, um, but only using um, WSL and Linux. Okay, so I did find an article that I think will help us to actually create uh, multiple instances of WSL. So let me just pull my terminal over to the side, and we'll get this guy over here. All right, so I'm going to skip a couple of the first steps because uh, if you've made it to this point, you've already done all of the first steps, which is to install WSL and... Um, I haven't done the uh, curl download, I don't think. Well, I don't think I've done the... I don't think I've set this uh, um, curl exception yet, but we'll see if we can get away with that. Copy and paste the entire code and run it in the terminal. Let's see if this works. Oh, and then I think I also have to run this as administrator. Okay. So I'm going to copy and paste this code running PowerShell as administrator. Okay. Now let's try our command. It could be that the... Oh! Wow, that actually worked. Okay, so yeah, we definitely need to do that, uh, that command. So we did create a new folder. Okay, so now we're gonna download the file again into the Ubuntu folder. Okay, so now that that file is downloaded again, so let's run a dir and see if we have it. Okay, so we do have it in the, the folder uh, on C Ubuntu. And then I'm going to now copy the command that they gave us. And let's open up Notepad. What we want to do is we want to fill this out with the proper information. So we want to do distribution name. We want to do they suggested Ubuntu 2, that seems like a good one. Ubuntu-2, installation folder. Installation folder is supposed to be where I want the instance to be installed. And so let's do C colon backslash Ubuntu, just to keep it simple, and then path to installation tarball, or, yeah, which can be dot slash, and then the file name. Okay, let's see if it worked. Huh. 
Oh, looks like it worked, everybody. Let's start it up and see if it is running. So to start a instance, you do WSL-D and then Ubuntu-2. And it does look like it is running here in bash mode. So let's do uh, ls ls dash lah. It's interesting. I don't recognize necessarily this directory. Or let's try to cd to the home directory, and let's do an ls from here. ls dash lah. Okay. So this is definitely a Linux environment of some sort, but I think I'm in bash mode, um, which is something I don't fully necessarily understand, but it looks like we do have now uh, two instances of Ubuntu running on our, desktop, uh, on our uh, Windows laptop. So very cool. Thank you guys, and check you next time.